Hello guys, Cynthia here. Um, I have not done one of my video chats in some time and I'm coming at you full quarantine style, no makeup, hair is not fixed, um, living the quarantine life. Um, it's not that much different for me. I'm still actually really pretty busy um, during quarantine. Uh, I worked from home most of the day anyways. Um, I used to leave to go teach classes uh, for my lift program at Blairwood um, during the day. And we obviously don't have those right now since the gym is closed, but I have started offering outdoor classes for my clients. Um, so I'm getting back out again and offering those. Um, but I spend most of my day working um, and taking care of my child. So my days are still pretty full. Um, which is fine by me because I like schedule and routine. Um, anyway, so I thought I would come on today and talk about what a reverse diet is. Um, it's something that I've been doing with clients. Uh, it's one of the main things that, not the main things, but I would say 90% of clients that start with me have to get reverse dieted, basically. Um, so I'm very familiar with it, um, know how to do it properly. I've had a lot, a lot of success with it. Um, if you've seen any of my before and afters with clients, it's usually, I mean, I show the after, after they've done um, some cuts and things like that to lose weight. Um, but I'll show the difference that they'll have in their composition and their body just going through the reverse diet. And the reverse diet's goal is not to lose weight. Um, it is actually to improve hormone health, to improve gut health, and to improve metabolism. Those three things. And those three things are typically very damaged um, from people that do a lot of crash dieting, fad dieting, um, repetitive dieting over and over again. Like you'll do a certain program uh, for a certain length of time and you either burn out on it or it's not a sustainable program or it's not one that you enjoy, whatever it may be. And then you resume back to old habits, ways, eating patterns, whatever it may be. And you put the weight back on plus more typically is what we see. We call that the rebound um, or the after after. Um, that happens. Uh, and then the next time you go back and you try to diet again, it's that much harder. Um, your body is incredibly smart. And every time you do a diet, it learns um, that uh, pattern or that style of eating or whatever, however you want to describe that. And the next time you go to do it, it's going to resist you. It's going to have these um, walls put in place to prevent you from being able to do that again. Um, so what a reverse diet does is it heals that basically um, and it gets you in a really good spot where you're feeling great, energy level is good, the sk your skin looks better than it ever has, your energy is up and better than it's ever been, digestion is on point, you guys should be going to the bathroom by me that, I mean you should be having a bowel movement every day. Um, I'm so surprised how many women come to me and they go maybe three times a week and they think that's normal and that's not. That's that's the first sign of a dysfunction going on. And dysfunction always leads to disease if you leave it untreated. So um, if you are one of those that does not use the restroom regularly or the other side, I have had the other side, what we call a hyperactive bowel, where you go multiple times a day and it's not solid um, uh, stool that you have, um, and that too is a sign of inflammation or dysfunction or distress in the gut as well. So either side of the spectrum, um, then you, you definitely need to address that. If you leave that go for extended periods of time, over time, it will turn into something more serious. Um, so working with women on that. Um, metabolism, improving metabolism for women. Um, so many of them come to me eating low calories and when I, I work to increase their calories, which is what a reverse diet is done in a very uh, slow, precise, methodical way to do it so that you minimize fat gain while you're um, increasing your calories. Um, they complain about how full they are, um, like they feel like food's up to here. And that's because um, your metabolism is incredibly slow. Your metabolism um, is not just thinking, don't just think metabolism as far as burning calories or burning fat. Um, meta that's that's a, a name for a process that goes on in the body where energy is converted in some form or way, right? So we have 
lots of metabolic processes that go on in the body. So all of those processes will ramp down due to the low calorie intake coming in because it's going to match what we call it, uh, calories coming in, your energy, your food. Um, it's always going to match your, your energy um, that's coming in because if you're only giving it so much energy, then it's going to drop down everything or ramp down. Uh, think about like gearing down in a car um, to meet that amount of energy. Um, so what we try to do is slowly and gradually increase your food intake and then your metabolism will pick up and it will match that food intake and it will start to rev. Um, and that's what I love. My favorite part um, of this is when I've got the reverse diet completed with a, a client um, and we get their calories up and then we start on the cuts, which the cuts are focused for weight loss. And I reduce calories at that point. And the amount of calories that they're eating on the cut is higher um, than the calories they came to me eating on and they complain about how hungry they are at that amount. So to put that to numbers, so say somebody came to me and they're eating 12, 1300 calories, right? And I reverse diet them, I get them up to 2300 calories and we do our first cut and I drop them down to let's say 1500 calories, right? So that 1500 is higher than the 1200 they started at and they hate it. They are so freaking hungry at that 1500 calorie mark. And the first thing out of their mouth is like, wow, I cannot believe, you know, how little I ate um, back then and how that made me feel full and blah, 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 blah. Um, so it, it just, it's um, very enlightening for them. And it's very encouraging for them to know that I can eat this amount of calories. I'm dropping weight. My composition changes. My energy level's good. My skin looks good. My libido picks up. So many women, the, you know, their libido is in the gutter and that's, a, it's a metabolic process, your hormones and all that kind of stuff. So if we're not having the energy come in, it all gets ramped down. So when your metabolism comes up, it all gets ramped back up, guys. And that's all of healthy, sustained living is all of these processes working and being optimal all the time and living the longest, healthiest life that you can. Um, so, you know, we do cuts and get them down. But the, a reverse diet is for someone that has diet cycled over and over and over again. Um, and you keep trying these programs, you'll go into it. Um, so like, 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 let's use the Whole30 as one, which I think the Whole30 is an awesome elimination diet. But the issue with it is if you don't have a plan for after the Whole30, once you finish that 30 days of elimination and you just go right back to the way that you were eating, which is what most people do, you're going to put whatever weight was lost on right back on if not more you have to have a plan after that same thing like with the Weight Watchers it's a great starting point or something to get you going but the issue with those programs is there's nothing after it's not teaching you how to sustain it it's not teaching you a lifestyle once you stop the program you typically stop counting the points and all that kind of stuff because that's not a lifestyle um, there's there's no guidance for the after and what to do to maintain this lifestyle that you have built off of these program guidelines. So that's my issue with those. They're great starting points. Um, if any, you know, I'm always for anybody doing something to become healthier. You just have to have a plan in place and you just need to go into it knowing that you need to find something that's sustainable and that is a lifestyle for you and that's something you can maintain, okay? That's the point, right? Is we want to lose this weight, feel good, not just for 30, 45 days or to fit in a bikini for the summer or for a wedding. You want to feel this way all year round. You want to be the best shape, um, the most fit, like I said, healthy, healthy metabolism, hormones, libido, energy, everything all the time. You want to feel good all the time. So that's that's what I teach you and how, uh, how to maintain that, what it takes to get there. Is there um, a little bit of work to do on the front end? Absolutely. You know, you have to. If you've been chasing diets, you know, for the last five, six years, you're going to have a little bit of work to undo that damage in the beginning. But once you do it and once you learn it, it's yours. You know how to do this the rest of your life, basically. So a reverse diet works to improve metabolism, hormones, and all this kind of stuff. Um, once you get there, then you can start getting into the cuts where you focus on the weight loss, um, the trimming down, getting lines, looking fit, healthy, um, and things like that. Uh, I just... 
So I wanted to get on it and kind of explain what that was because it's now becoming, again, a popular term and it's getting bastardized just like anything else um, that, you know, comes mainstream. Um, and, you know, I've heard a couple other um, fitness or nutrition professionals discussing a reverse diet and they were completely wrong. <laughs> in the way that one, they were, one was um, saying she was reverse dieting herself and she had no reason to be reverse dieting herself. It didn't even make sense. She had not been on a cut. Um, you would reverse diet coming out of a competition, okay? Uh, a bodybuilding competition. Um, that's a perfect time to reverse diet outside of somebody that spent years in a diet cycle. That's another example of it. Um, but it's preparing for a bodybuilding competition is an extreme, extreme diet. Diet as in cut pulling calories out. Um, so you have to be methodical and slow coming back out of that because if you go from your competition of eating these low calories right back into eating normal lifestyle pre-prep or pre-competition um, training, you put on massive fat. And you've probably seen that. Maybe you know somebody that's done a bodybuilding competition. You know, they, they come, they get their body all lean and fit, and then as soon as it's over, they start pounding food left and right. And I mean, it's nothing, seriously to put on 15 to 20 pounds in like a week to 10 days um, because, you know, your metabolism is so jacked at that point. Um, but anyway, so, you know, I, I'm, I won't get into it, but I'm seeing um, some individuals that um, are discussing a reverse diet and it's incorrect and they're not speaking about it in the way that it's supposed to be used or what it is used for. Um, so that's that's it. A reverse diet is exactly what it says. It's to reverse out of a diet. Um, if you have not been dieting, if you have not done any drastic cuts, um, anything like that, then you don't need to reverse diet. Um, if you've just been, if you've been working with somebody and you've been on a, a plan, um, you know, and it's been controlled and you're, you're the way that you've cut your calories and come out of your calories being cut is very controlled. Do you probably need a reverse diet? No, this is for somebody, um, like my typical client is someone that's done Weight Watchers, they've done Keto, they've tried Paleo, they've tried the Whole30, they've tried um, uh, a Beach Body, you know, they whatever fad, popular, flashy diet is um, in front of them, they've tried it, they stuck with it maybe 30, 45 days, went right back to their old ways of eating, gave it three, four months, got tired of feeling like crap, okay, I'm going to try something new, tried it again, stuck with it 30, 45 days. And they're just in this cycle all the time. That is somebody that needs to be reverse dieted because their metabolism is absolutely jacked. Um, another, that's case one. Case two would be somebody um, that continuously, they're not specifically doing a plan, but Monday through Friday, they eat extremely low calories. 12, 1300, 14, 1500 calories. They eat Monday through Friday. Comes the weekend, they go out to eat with their friends, dinner, brunch, drinks, whatever it may be, and they have huge calorie surplus. So they jump to 2,500, 3,000 calories Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So overall, through the whole week, your seven-day period, they now are in a ca calorie surplus because when they eat the low calories through the week, Monday through Friday, they have sunk down their metabolism, their overall total daily energy expenditure, right? And then they have this huge calorie increase on the weekend. Well, that gap between here through the week and here on the weekend gets stored as fat. And then that's why they keep um, gaining weight. And so then what do they do? They have a really fun weekend. And then Sunday, you know, laying in bed, they're like, God, I got to get it together. So Monday, what do they do? They restrict, restrict calories and probably do three hours of exercise. And they're in that cycle every week. That again is somebody that's metabolism is jacked. Hormones are jacked. Gut health is most likely jacked as well. Um, that would be case two. Case three would be somebody that just completed some kind of bodybuilding competition or um, some competition like that that required serious um, dieting for an extended period of time. Like when I did mine, it was a 15-week cut, which is a very long time to be dieting. Um, so you have to spend at least that long coming back out of it um, in a slow, controlled way to prevent massive fat, uh, fat gains um, when coming out of your uh, competition. So those are the three most common scenarios for what would be appropriate to a reverse diet. Um, if you're somebody that um, eats high calorie pretty much all the time, 
um, and that's what's caused you to put on weight, you don't need to be reverse dieted. You just need to cut. You need to you need to pull the calories back, rein it in. Um, so I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about it, you can shoot me a message. Uh, I am taking some one-to-one -one clients right now. Uh, if you're interested, if that sounded like you, you're one of the scenarios, you're tired of diet cycling, um, you want to feel better, you want it to last, you want it to be a lifestyle, um, that is my program. Um, it does take a while. I do require a minimum of 12 weeks um, to start um, because you have to build the foundation. Um, just like building a house, if you don't have a foundation, there's nothing for it to stand on. So if you don't have a foundation with um, your health and your metabolism and your hormones and your gut health, you're just going to fall apart again. So I do require a minimum of 12 weeks to get that foundation laid, and then we can go from there um, as to what your goals are are basically is how it works. So again, if you have any questions, let me know, shoot me a message, glad to help. But I hope that this just, if anything, clarifies what a reverse diet is, who it is for, um, and why, why you would do it. Um, and it's there, it's phenomenal. It works really, really well when it's done correctly. Um, as basically 90% of my clients could tell you. So, all right, guys, have a great day. Enjoy your quarantine. Get outside, get a walk in, get some vitamin D, stay active, stay moving. I've said it 500 times of any time. This is the perfect time to grab hold of your health. There's no events. There's no parties. Um, there's no going out to eat unless you get carry out, which you don't have to do that. You have so much control right now over your life and your health for you to really, really lay down some good habits, lay Lay down that foundation um, and use this to help you move forward to live a healthier lifestyle. So, all right, guys, my website is Cynthia Williams Fitness. Check it out or the lifestylenutrition.com, either one. Um, both have um, programs. Lifestyle Nutrition is a program, a self driven program. I put all everything I know in there, it's got exercises. All of that is in there, but you work it at your pace. Um, Cynthia Williams Fitness is where you would work with me one-on-one, -on -one, and I would see you each week um, through FaceTime um, if you need that kind of accountability. So, all right, guys, see you on the next one.